one of the things that people do ask me is, what's the difference between hypnosis and meditation? Well, they're essentially sister states of mind. As I said, you're going from a beta brainwave state down to alpha and theta brainwave state. So you're experiencing the same brainwave state. But one of the things that happens or several of the things that happen physically is your body is releasing dopamine. Your body is releasing endorphins. So you feel really happy. You're in a really, really good mood. You're also releasing antioxidants. So your body is releasing these chemicals that are anti-cancer, they're anti-aging, they're anti-inflation, inflammation. So you've got that going for your body as well as increased melatonin. One of the things that I would hear, especially from people when I was performing at the cruise ships, and this was another thing that I would tell the audience to give them reason to come up on stage. I go, you're going to have an incredible night's sleep. You're going to go back to your cabin. And when you lay your head down the pillow, you are going to have an, a great night's sleep. People would come up to me a couple of days after the show. I don't know what you did, but I couldn't believe how well I slept. Um, so you're having that experience as well as that you're able to, to sleep really well. Not to mention that your body is going to have a reduction in those chemicals, like the fight or flight mentality, right? Your body is releasing chemicals that you use when it comes to stress while well, you're having your stress reduced. And one of the most interesting things, there was a study done, they took a group of women who had breast cancer and they were going to go into intense chemotherapy. So they had two groups. They had a group of women that just did the chemotherapy and they had another group of women who did chemotherapy and they practiced meditation every single day. Now, one of the things that happens as a result of chemotherapy is we've got these things on the end of our, our chromosomes and they are called telomeres. They're like the plastic cap at the end of your shoelaces that keep your shoelaces from fraying. So what happens is when the telomeres go down, that's stress and that's aging. And when your telomeres are all the way out, that's when you die. So one of the things that you know happens when they, people experience chemotherapy is that your telomeres get ground down as a result of the chemotherapy. So at the end of the study, the women who just did chemotherapy, as expected, their telomeres were ground down. The women who did the chemotherapy and the meditation their telomeres remained virtually the same. So that, you know, that speaks to the antioxidant properties. Your immune system is getting a huge boost as a result of doing uh, meditation or hypnosis. So that's one of, you know, the, the positive benefits, not to mention, of course, the energy that people feel in the middle of the afternoon. If somebody takes 15 or 20 minutes to do a meditation or hypnosis session, you can get an energy boost as a result of that. So instead of pounding down an energy drink or whatever the case may be, people can do meditation.